Then what? Share it. With? Whoever you share with. Whoever you know, the people you're close to. Tonight's talk is consciousness, creativity, and the brain. And um, if you have a golf ball size consciousness, when you read a book, you'll have a golf ball size understanding. When you look out, a golf ball size awareness. And when you wake up in the morning, a golf ball size wakefulness. But if you could expand that consciousness, then you read the book, more understanding. You look out, more awareness. And when you wake up, more wakefulness. It's consciousness. And there's an ocean of pure, vibrant consciousness inside each one of us. And it's right at the source and base of mind, right at the source of thought, and it's also at the source of all matter. There is no matter as such. All matter originates and exists only by virtue of a force which brings the particle of an atom to vibration and holds this most minute solar system of the atom together. We must assume behind this force the existence of a conscious and intelligent mind. This mind is the matrix of all matter. Matter seems like a good place to begin. The solidity of the world seems totally indisputable. As a fixed thing that you can see and touch, your body is also reassuringly solid. But beginning with Einstein, modern physics has assured us that this solidity is a mirage. All of physical matter, everything we have around us, is the result of a frequency. And what that also means is that if you amplify the frequency, the structure of the matter will change. The film you are about to see has no characters, it has no people. It's a film to describe to you and explain visually the effect of cymatic frequencies on texture, structure, water, oil. You will see many things that answer many questions. You will see living forms, living amoeba, almost animal-like creatures. You will see continents being formed, the earth itself coming into existence, explosions, eruptions, atomic explosions and bombs. You can see all this and watch it before your eyes. But anything, everything owes its existence solely and completely to sound. Sound is a factor which holds it together. Sound is the basis of form and shape. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. We are told that this is how the world began and how creation took shape. If we put that into the modern idiom and say that into the great voids of space came a sound and matter took shape. Please watch carefully. We can also use different shapes of state. 
Here we have a triangular plate with a crystal attached to its underside and produce a sonorous fit. We change to a higher note and see a rather more complicated figure. and lycopodium. The lycopodium moves to the center of the fields and takes up circular shapes. The sand forms the lines. Each material has its own special way of behaving. Lycopodium alone, a sonorous figure, transition to a mobile flowing phase and back again to the figure. The sonorous figures represent stationary waves but now we can also observe moving waves. Here the sand is flowing in a current what is it that drives the rotational effect in our galaxies? What is it that drives the rotation of the planets? What is it that drives and impacts the rotation of Earth? In vibrating glycerin, we see continuous waves which form the queerest figures. And yet, the extraordinary things we see here are simply and solely the effect of vibration. Now, what we've seen up until now are single signals, single frequencies projected in the matter. And what you're seeing here now are interference patterns of two or more frequencies resulting in a pulse, the pulse of the human heart, the pulse that, that drives the blood through the veins in your bodies. What is your heart responding to? Where does that pulse come from?
quantum physics has revealed what ancient masters knew. Matter does not exist. The concept of substance arose from the philosophy of Aristotle. And from that concept came science's conception of matter. The fact of the matter is that the substance of the universe is consciousness. Belief that the substance of the universe is matter leads to what I call a fear-greed dichotomy. As people in their quiet desperation attempt to accumulate as many material uh, uh, possessions and riches as possible. In fact, the substance of the universe is consciousness. Therefore, it is behavior that is important.